Now, the other question was, where do you get your code plug from? So once you've registered with the DMR site, which I put in the blog and I'll put a link to below, then you can uh, enter the, the digital arena. OK, so to get our digital contact list, you need to go to radioid.net. You should register with them as well to get your unique ID. And it will also put you into the contact list so that when other people update their list, you'll be in it. You need to click on database, dump file section, and click on users.csv. And that will now be saved. To import it, we need to go tool, import, read the warning if you've got an earlier version of the Anytone, or if you've got an earlier version of the file. I haven't. I literally go to downloads, user, I've downloaded it twice. That is it. Open that, and then we would import it. And there you go, and that import is complete. Now, when we put, send, save this to the radio, we should, this is the only time you should take this because the difference between doing an update with your contacts or your channels or whatever can take a few seconds. To do the digital contact list, it's going to take a few minutes. And it looks like it's going really fast, but it doesn't. OK, so we're almost completely uploaded to the radio now. Thankfully, you won't have to do this very often. You know, you, you might want to do it every six months, or if you're getting a lot of new IDs that aren't registering. And there we go, that's complete. And now the radio is going to reboot. Seems to put all the data in a safety buffer first, which is great. You know, it's probably checking it. And there we are. So I've got a lot to learn about DMR, and when I have done, I'll produce a video on that. Uh, it's a massive world, and you can quite often tune into a repeater, and all you can hear is a hissing noise. And I, I would imagine, although I'm not certain, that that is people using DMR. So I certainly hope to explore it. The other thing that we need to do is to put the radio in promiscuous mode. Now, that sounds a bit weird. But actually, all it means is that Normally, the radio is restrict, restricted to only receive specific IDs. By putting it into promiscuous mode, it means we can hear everything. Now, we may choose later on that we don't want to hear everything on a particular repeater. So that is when we start getting a bit more technical, and I need to learn about that so I can tell you all about it. So that's all for this video. Comments below. Please subscribe, and please tick the bell, and then you'll get updates up from this channel whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. 73s.